Okay guys, so uh, first thing we need to do to make the TMR is to go to, uh, or just type in mixed, M-I-X-E-D, um, and then you'll see at the top there it says uh, mixed rations for cows, that's the one we're after. Uh, it's got a capacity of 300,000 litres. Okay, so once we've got that, we're going to go to the silo, and we're going to fill up. Um, as you can see, I've got 1.5 million litres. So um, what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and get it around around about 150,000 litres. Okay. Now the actual mixer itself requires 40% uh, silage, 40% hay and 20% straw. Um, I've never actually put straw in there. I've always done it on a 50-50 ratio um, and it seems to work fine for me. So I've had no complaints from the cows themselves up until now. So we're just going to dump that in there. Now my particular cow, uh, the cow pen itself doesn't produce um, manure or slurry. It's purely just for fattening up the cows over the, over the years because I'm actually on seasons on this particular map. Uh, so um, yeah, I do know that putting straw into a pen can make the difference between whether they produce manure or not. Um, so if you don't want manure, then don't put straw into the uh, cow cow pen. Um, and they won't produce the manure. Uh, I think they produce slurry instead. Um, and then I think it's the other way around. If you do put straw in, it'll it'll predominantly make um, manure and not slurry. So yeah, it depends what you want really. So we're just going to put the hay in there. If you watch my other video called uh, "Free Grass Hay and Straw," you'll know that this particular silo, you don't pay for your hay. So, yeah, there's no point in having all the aggravation of uh, cutting the grass and tethering it, especially on seasons, because on seasons you can only make hay during the uh, summer period plus the first week, I think, of autumn. So, yeah, I mean, that's normally your harvesting season as well, so it's, it's a lot to be doing, plus all this making the, the uh, TMR for the cows. So, I mean, this way here, I'm making a shed load of TMR now in the earliest earlier times and then it, it's it's got me there for the rest of the year now so um simply we're just going to back up now onto this uh, outlet pipe we need to get into the vehicle so it's it's, it's acting like another vehicle so we'll just go up to it press square and enter the vehicle and then as you can see it says overload uh, R1 and uh, triangle and there you've got it 300,000 litres of TMR as easy as that it has a little gauge on it as well so it'll tell you how much is in there so if you've got a smaller trailer it will let you know how much is left but as I say this particular trailer which is the RYC120 it has a 300 litre capacity so if you can have a look at there, you can see that my cows for the whole year are going to require just over 600,000 litres. Um, it's quite a new pen. They're quite young cows. They're still, uh, they're still newborns. They're only six, well, 0 point, 0 0.6 years old. So by next year, that's probably going to go up to around about 900,000 litres for the year. And by year three, well, I'm probably looking around about 1.1. 1 .1 0.2 million litres of TMR so as you can imagine I, I don't really want to spend all my time just purely making TMR so this machine probably two or three loads of this will keep me going now for for the year or this year at least and then next year I'll probably only need three more three more mixes and then that's my TMR uh, for the for the year too so yeah um, I want to concentrate on the crops and uh, it's an easy way of doing it once you've done this it's uh, simply just a case of putting it into the silo and uh, job done. Uh, I hope the video was useful.